So today I want to look at the battle pack system for Battlefield 1. It's changed a lot from what you might have experienced with Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline, and from a first look, it does seem to be a good improvement overall. Battle packs will now focus almost completely on customization. You get rewarded with them randomly after certain matches, and every time you open one up, you will get a weapon skin. That's guaranteed. The skins come in three different rarities. You've got special, distinguished, and legendary skins. So it sounds pretty good so far, but Battlefield 1 does have some really nice weapon skins for you to be able to use. Alongside that, there's a chance that the battle pack might contain a piece of a craftable melee weapon. You'll need to collect all the pieces to unlock it in the game, and apparently beyond that, there is another item that you can get from battle packs, but DICE aren't officially telling us what that is yet. When you start opening your battle packs, you'll be able to do one of two things with it. The skins that are inside can either be kept and put in your inventory, and then you can apply them to the weapons in the game, or, if you want to, you can trade those skins in for in-game currency called scraps. You can then use these scraps to buy other battle packs without having to wait for it to be randomly given to you at the end of a round. Now, spending your scraps is your only way to access two other tiers of battle pack. There's also superior and enhanced versions of these. They cannot be earned by playing rounds in the game, and they will require you to save up a lot more scraps to get one. These two higher tier battle packs will have a better chance of dropping you a distinguished or a legendary skin for one of your weapons. This seems to be a metric that DICE are using to try and entice players to save up scraps, keep playing the game, get more battle packs, open them up, trade in their skins, and the cycle just continues round and round. Battle packs that you earn through the game, or buy with your scraps actually, will have different revisions as well. They'll have different lists of skins that could be in them. And these revisions will be rotated regularly, so you don't keep opening the same pack and getting the same skins for weapons every single time. That's pretty cool. Every couple of weeks or so, DICE haven't actually said a time frame yet, a new list of items will be available, and in there, there could be a skin that you've been waiting for. So rather than battle packs being throwaway items, DICE have actually created an in-game system where you can keep the stuff you want, scrap the stuff you don't, and you can save up to buy different packs as well. The whole system seems a lot more valuable to me now, and it's worth investing time to actually get some battle packs out of the game. But with that, let's open up some. I've got 10 here to open. Let's see what we get. I have unlocked a few already and then opened them, so I've got some skins in the game. Maybe we'll get some duplicates and I can show you how that system works. So here we are at the main menu. I thought we'd start here because some people don't know how to get to the Battle Packs menu outside of a game. So first of all, you can go to More and then click Battle Packs, or you can go from the home screen directly to it with this little icon right here. I think it should be highlighted a little bit more considering it's integral to the multiplayer experience. But there we go. They should probably put it up here along the top line, just have a battle pack section. I think that would be absolutely fine. But let's move into it. So here we have my 10 battle packs left to open. And as you can see, I've already got some scraps up the top here. To get one of these base level battle packs, you need 200 scraps. Then if we go into the Get Battle Packs menu, you can see the Enhanced and Superior Battle Packs cost even more, but they do give you a better chance of getting a Distinguished or a Legendary Skin. But without further ado, let's open one of these Battle Packs. Let's see what we get. Oh, I just love that animation. It's great. So as you can see here, the Russian 1895 Infantry, and we get the Royal Order camo, and that's one of the special ones, so it's kind of like a base level camo. Now, I've already got it. It tells me down here I already own this item, so I'm going to scrap it for 30 scraps, and that means I get a little bit more towards my total, and actually, I can get... all. Oh! We did get a puzzle piece. Awesome. So as I was saying earlier in the video, there's a chance that you can get a puzzle piece towards some of these melee weapons. I haven't actually got one so far, so this is quite exciting. So I get my first piece to the puzzle. Awesome. So now we can look at the puzzle over here. And I've got one of the five pieces. And I can actually scrap that one piece for quite a considerable amount of scraps, actually. But you know what? I'm going to keep it. It's a cool item, and I want to make my way towards it at some point. 
But let's go back in and we'll open our next pack. Here we go. Ooh, nice. I don't know how you pronounce that. I think it's Bapuam, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I got an MG15 camo the other day, actually, but this is one of the distinguished ones. So it's kind of like a middle of the road one. It's not top level. It's not bottom level either. But as you can see, I haven't got it, so I'm going to add it to my inventory. And then we're going to go in for our third pack. Oh, I think we got it again. Yeah, we got it again. Never mind, we can scrap it for 90 scraps this time, so that pushes us up to a total of 300 scraps now. We might even be able to get one of the middle tier battle packs and then open that at the end. But here we go. Fourth pack. Something different this time, please. The animation is just so cool, it's really, really good. Ah, the Haze Brock for the MP18. I'm not 100% not sure how you say half of the names of some of these camos, but never mind. This one here, again, I've already got it, so we're going to scrap it. 90 more scraps in the total, 390 now. Really on our way to getting an extra battle pack. Now, please, let's see what we got here. Look, we can get Warhorse for the BAR, Lone Pine for the SMLE Infantry, Royal Order for the Lewis Gun. Oh, some of these are really cool. And then you've got Royal Statute for the Lewis Gun as well. Let's try and see if we can pick out some of these. Come on, battle pack. Just give me something different. No, we didn't get something different, but never mind. I'll take the scraps and we're just going to move straight on to the next one. There we go. Got my 90 scraps. going to move straight on to the next one. Let's see if we can just get some speed runs going until we get something we want. Yay, something new. The Diaz camo for the Modelo 1915. I haven't even unlocked this weapon in the game. I haven't put any, uh, any in-game war bonds towards it yet. But that's a really nice looking camo. I like the metal on it and the wooden handle as well. It's a really nice finish. So we'll add that one to our inventory. And now we're down to our last four battle packs. So really be cool if we could just get something that was like really good as a camo. It'd be great for the video. Yay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, interesting. Now, I think I've already got this one. Yep, I've already got the Royal Decree for the Automatico. Again, we're going to scrap that. Now up to 510 scraps, which is a really good total. Moving into our last three now. Please just give me something high level, please. And again, coming back with the same camos every time. Dice, please. Give me something different. <laughs> Let's scrap that one. The scrap level's getting higher and higher here. Two battle packs to go now. And then we'll see what we can get at the end. Oh, slightly different camo for the Modelo 1915. This is the Arditi camo, and it's a legendary one as well. That actually looks really nice. But do you know what? I prefer the one that we had before. I don't know. It's a legendary camo, so it's really, really good. I mean, I could scrap it for 270 scraps, but I'm probably going to keep it because it's a legendary camo. If I have that in game, people are going to see that in my kill cam. You know, it just makes me totally baller. <laughs> not really so we'll add that to our inventory and we'll go for our last battle pack and this one here awarded for premium membership so hopefully it's something cool please dice please god's sake dice why you do this to me so we're definitely scrapping that so we're going to end up with a total here of 690 scraps you can see that up in the top right corner so i can't get a superior battle pack but i can get an enhanced battle pack so there's definitely a chance that I will get, well, I will get a distinguished or a legendary skin, as you can see here. The uh, the list over on the uh, on the right hand side tells me what I can get. I can also get a puzzle piece as well. So I'm going to buy one of those. Awesome. So that's now locked in, and I can now open that. Here we go. Hopefully, I really want the Doughboy. This is what I want. I want the Doughboy or even Warhorse. I'd be happy with Warhorse as well, but you know, I'd love the Doughboy. Here we go. Last battle pack. Oh, dice, please. Please, give me something you want, please. New animation, that's so cool. God's sake. I already have that. I already have it. Damn it. So I'm going to end up with 330 scraps if I scrap this one in, which I have. So there we go. So we've got nothing left, but we can have a look in the inventory and see what we've got here. Uh, doesn't look like the menu's loaded properly. That's not very helpful. There we go. 
definitely much better. So you can see there's a couple of camos here that I've already got. I've got the Mexican camo for the Mondragon and the uh, the, spe the camouflage pattern, which is a special. And this one here is a legendary. It's a nice little menu so you can see what you've got. Uh, let's go down to LMGs. I've already got the Royal Statute for the Lewish Gun. That looks really, really nice in game, especially when it's got the water all over it. It looks really, really cool. But moving on to, what was it, the sidearms, because they were the impressive ones. So there we go. I've got the Diaz for the Modelo 1915 and the uh, Veteran Guard for it as well. And we got the RDT. So we got three different variants there for the Modelo 1915. I do have a York Distinguished 1911 and I've got the Veteran Soldier for the C96. So it's interesting to see which ones I've got so far. Kind of let down that my uh, Enhanced Battle Pack didn't give me something that I really wanted. But never mind, at least you've got an understanding now how you can open battle packs in game, what kind of levels there are, and how you can get your scraps and then build up the level a little bit further. I'm going to switch back to my commentary now, and, uh, well, I'll finish off the video. So there you go. The battle pack system in Battlefield 1, for me, seems to be a lot more valuable and rewarding than it has been in the past, which, in my opinion, is what the system desperately needed. It does remain to be seen, however, how long this system can keep people engaged, but aiming for those high level skins is something in other FPS titles has already seen massive popularity. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think about the new battle pack system down below in the comments. I'll be there reading and replying to as many as I can. And if you want to see me do some more pack openings, yeah, Battlefield 1 pack openings is probably going to become a thing, then just let me know in the comments as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.